Hello friends, welcome to new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn how to subtract. You'll see how useful and fun it is. Subtracting is the opposite of adding. It's taking away a smaller amount from a larger amount. For example, if we have six balloons, but two of them burst. We've got one, two, three and four balloons left. Six minus two equals four. A subtraction is represented by this sign, which is called minus. And each of the figures that form part of the subtraction are called minuend and subtrahend. The minuend is the number that we're going to subtract and the subtrahend is the quantity we're going to take away. For example, if a chicken lays nine eggs, but we use six to make an omelette, how many eggs do we have left? How do we do the subtraction? First, we need to place number nine, which is the minuend, the number of eggs that we have at the beginning. Under it, we'll place number six, which is the subtrahend, the number of eggs that we'll use to make an omelette. After this, we place the minus sign on the left side of the subtrahend and we draw a horizontal line under the subtraction's numbers. Now, we can do the subtraction. If out of nine eggs, we use six, we've got one, two and three eggs. Now we know how to subtract simple figures, but now we're going to complicate things a little more. To subtract larger figures, for example 56 minus 32, we need to write down the minuend, 56, and under it, the subtrahend, 32. Always placing units under units and tens under tens. After this, we place the minus sign and we're ready to subtract. 56 minus 32 is equal to 6 minus 2 equals 4. And 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. That means that the final result is 24. Easy peasy, huh? Now we're going to complicate things a little more. We're going to subtract with the remainders, but don't worry because it's easy peasy. We're going to subtract 63 minus 45. First, as always, we subtract the units. 3 units minus 5 is... Whoops! It's impossible to subtract 3 minus 5. So, what do we do? Well, it's easy peasy. We transform one of the tens from the minuend into 10 units and we take them to the units column. Since we had six tens and we've transformed one of them into units, we've got five tens left. We then add these 10 units to the three we had in the minuend, meaning that we've got 13 now. Now we can subtract the units. 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. We have 8 units. Now we need to subtract the 5 tens we had in the minuend and the 4 tens that we had in the subtrahend. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, meaning that 63 minus 45 is equal to 18. It's easy peasy, don't you think? Now you have to practice lots. Do you know what a unit is? It's very easy. Each element is called a unit. It could be anything. For example, a toy, a tree, or an animal. The units are represented by single digit numbers. One fish is equal to one unit. So, if we have two units, we represent them with the number two. Three units with the number three, and so on up until the number nine. 
Wow, so many fish. One more and we will have 10. 10 units. Hmm, do you see what happens with the number 10? We now have two digits. The one and the zero. We have a 10 because 10 units make a 10. <sighs> Remember, a 10 is a grouping of 10 units. Let's leave our fish tank here, because here come two more fish. If we count them all now, we'll have... Twelve units, twelve fish, or in other words, a ten and an additional two units. I write it like this, the units in the first position starting from the right and the tens in the second position always starting from the right. Now, imagine that the number of fish is increasing and now you fill two fish tanks and each tank has 10 fish. We would have two lots of 10. The tens start from 10 and go up in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on up to the number 90. One more 10 and we would have 100, 100 units, 100 fish. Oh, how wonderful. That would be equal to 10 tens or a hundred. There are so many fish, I wish we could keep them all. The number 100 has three digits. The hundreds are written in the third position starting from the right. For example, let's write the number 135, which is equivalent to five units, three tens, and a 100. Let's try with some other numbers. 367, now it's your turn. How many units do you think there are? Very good, there are seven units. The units are written in the first position, counting from the right. How many tens are there? Yes, very good, there are six tens. The tens are written in the second position, counting from the right. And thirdly, how many hundreds do you see? Exactly, three hundreds. The hundreds are written in the third position, counting from the right. Yay! Now you know what the units, tens and hundreds are. You can practice with more numbers because units, tens and hundreds are essential to be able to add and subtract. And it's a lot of fun too. By the way, should we release the fish into the river? Awesome, now they can swim freely and in peace. Goodbye friends, see you in the next video.